Face movement, September 8, 2017. We're bringing warnings and watches to September the 10th. And on September 10th, 2017, we're going to be live all day with Hurricane uh, Irma. All right. When it supposedly make landfall in Florida. All right. What does Hurricane Irma name mean? War goddess. All right. A war goddess. We did videos. We talk about warnings and watches since August the 21st, 2017. All right, it's biblical. What's going on? 33 days from August the 21st, 2017, September 23rd, 2017. And it's Revelation 12. And we're seeing the bad omen that every single religion, belief system, scholars, since in astrology, since the beginning of written history, what the old mean man, death, destruction, famine, war, weather, rebirth. We're on the brinks of World War Three. We see Hurricane Harvey devastated Texas and Louisiana. We've seen uh, fires on the West Coast, heat waves. Uh, we've seen a massive earthquake, 8.1. All right, but names hold power. And this hurricane is called Irma. It means war goddess. When we go to Intercast, Atlantis, Atlantic, and we look at what's going on out here. All right, before we get started, we got a possible for another tropical storm, two tropical storms later on this week, Lee and Maria. All right, and that's coming off of Africa. You got two systems. You got one system that's right behind Hurricane Jose. It's in perfect water. Most likely will be torn apart. You have wind shears, so it won't most likely become a tropical storm, but keep a watchful eye on that. And we got another system that's coming off of Africa. Now, from South Carolina to Georgia to Florida, they have evacuation in place. All right, most likely the Georgia... And South Carolina evacuation is going to be replaced. All right, folks. And as Hurricane Irma most likely won't turn on Florida, as people think. All right. But if you do live in South Florida, if you do live on the East Coast by Miami, um, the Key West, um, Tampa Bay, um, we're on both sides. If this storm does decide to turn in the next 12, 14 hours, and yes, both sides will see a massive impact from Hurricane Irma. What's so strange about this hurricane is the professional meteorologist has never seen nothing like this, all the disturbance that's going on with this hurricane, folks. Okay? It's not just the hurricane itself. All right, we got Hurricane Kate. On the east coast of Mexico. And we got Hurricane Jose following and tail of Hurricane Irma. That's a strong Hurricane 2. It's a Category 4. Most likely Jose will become a Category 5 too. And cause more devastation on top of Hurricane Irma. Alright, so let's get into it. The way I'm seeing this is that it has a slimmer. I'm going to say 50 chance percent chance of turning. I'm going to say 30% chance of turning and striking Florida head-on in the middle. Most likely, this storm ain't going to turn till it reaches after the Key West. So, if you live in the Gulf of Mexico, let me rephrase myself. If you live in the Gulf of Mexico, be prepared for Hurricane Irma, the goddess of war. All right? These are the cities. Warnings and watches for hurricanes and high rise and hurricane winds for Miami. Most likely the hurricane ain't going to make landfall on Miami. But since you guys are right by the Everglades, a swamp infested area, and you guys got sunny day floods and all that stuff just from the rain itself, yes, the wind's going to be powerful. Please, please evacuate or tomorrow afternoon stay, shelter, be prepared. If you live in the Key West... Get off those coral islands. Get off those coral islands because no matter what way this hurricane's going, it's coming. It's going to be a Category 5. 
it's, it should be category five next time they update it because the eye that weakened it for a second to replace it to make it bigger and stronger now it's a category five again folks that's what's going on all right so if you live in the key west evacuate and don't be like those people that says well we're gonna do it on the boat we're gonna stay on the boat if you're gonna stay on the boat Get out to the Gulf of Mexico. Get away. Get to the middle. Get away from this hurricane. All right. This hurricane most likely is going to turn. When we saw the Harp scalar squares last week between Tampa Bay and Key West, there was a big scalar square. Most likely this hurricane is going to go right up the west coast of Florida. All right. But also, if you live in Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, by this wind shear, are being tore apart from two hurricanes by Katie. All right, and it's getting weak. And this thing is moving 16 mile per hour, but it got 150, 60 mile per hour winds right now. This thing is just going to go right through the uh, the line, the low line. All right, so this thing most likely ain't going to turn right in the middle where they think that it's going to turn. Most likely this is going to start heading out to the Gulf of Mexico and turn somewhere on the Gulf. Most likely, this storm is going to affect the Gulf of Mexico. I'll repeat myself one more time. Most likely, Hurricane Irma is going to affect the west coast of Florida. It's going to affect Miami, don't get me wrong. If you live in Miami, get out of there too. There's a chance that this thing might turn and I might be wrong. Like I said, it's a 50% chance. But by me looking at this... All right, and I've been predicting weather. I've been I always predict stuff head on right. All right. From knowledge and the sign tools I use, there's nothing stopping Hurricane Irma to turn right now. All right, folks, nothing at all. That's what scares me. If this thing does make it to the Gulf of Mexico, that water is way warmer than the Atlantic water. This this hurricane is gonna bloom like we never seen nothing before. And that's thanks to Kate. Behind it we got Hurricane Jose. And Hurricane Jose they're predicting is gonna stay and turn because of this line shear out here in Atlantic. Now this is what's gonna happen. If Hurricane Irma does turn, Jose will turn. But if Hurricane Irma keeps on going on its path, the same path that's been going on for the past day and a half, and has no interference, is in perfect water, keeping its eye off of major land where it's going to weaken down, and it's now it's a Category 5 and gets more stronger. This little thing right here, the line, is not going to stop this hurricane from turning. It's too big. It's going too... It's wind speed's too fast. It's not going to dilute it in any kind of way, folks. And that happens. Jose is going to follow tail. Then Jose might turn and hit the U.S. mainland, too. So we've got two hurricanes. we got one hurricane that we already know is going to hit the U.S. mainland, and that's going to be Hurricane Irma. Now, where it turns, it's all up to Mother Nature, folks. All right? Because this... Baffle is all meteorologists, everything. But my heart's a heart. My guts are guts doing this and looking at this. This hurricane ain't going to turn until it gets to the Gulf Coast, folks. You are going to feel effects of it, though, still in all South Florida, even on the East Coast. But this thing does turn and go right up the middle of Florida. Then on both sides, we are going to see devastation for Florida like we never seen. All right. Now, another way to predict these weather is if, to see if there's any harp ring. We've seen harp rings last week um, near uh, Katy. We've seen harp rings around Louisiana, New Orleans. And we've seen harp rings last week between Tampa Bay and the Key West. All right, folks. Right now, there's a harp ring right underneath Tallahassee in the middle of Florida. All right. So if I had to put warnings and watches... And tell you what's going to happen with this hurricane. This hurricane is going to hit Florida. If you live in the Key West, get out now. If you live in the Everglades or around Miami, get out now because of flooding. And it might turn still. If you live in Tampa Bay, evacuate too. If you live in the Gulf of Mexico, be prepared. 
I mean, from Louisiana, there should be a warning all the way to Florida and all of Florida's West Coast. All right, because I don't think this hurricane is going to turn like their model is the same. There's no way this hurricane is turning. Even if it turn right now, it's still going to hit Florida dead on, but it's not. Look at the eye. It keeps on moving north-northwest and staying perfect warm water. All right, and then we got Hurricane Jose that's on its tail. We're going to know how much it's on its tail in the next few hours because that's what's going to see Hurricane Jose. And Hurricane Jose might go up the East Coast, folks. And that's a Category 4, Bobby, Category 5 Hurricane 2. We're going to bring more updates tomorrow. But if you live in these areas, Miami, all South Florida, definitely in the Key West, the Everglades. All right, evacuate now till tomorrow afternoon. You guys can't get out by tomorrow afternoon from Miami to South Florida. Do not try to evacuate. Time is up, folks. Go back home. Stay shelter. You do not want to be trapped jam on a highway if this hurricane decides to turn inland and go straight up Florida in the middle. Now, if you live on the West Coast and get there paying attention, all right, that does happen. West east coast of Florida is gonna feel it's gonna be unpressable. We ain't never gonna see nothing like that. And Jose is gonna fall right behind, but Jose has one two things might happen. Might go out to the ocean, but if it sticks to Irma's tail, it's gonna get followed. It's gonna go basically almost in the same pattern, but most likely turn up here by Bahamas and landfall in Georgia and South Carolina. Now, if Hurricane Irma does not turn, Hurricane Jose will turn and be the one that's going to hit Florida dead on. All right. And then we got possible for two more tropical storms. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook. One more time, I got to put that warning out. All the Gulf Coast from Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, please be prepared right now. Go get food, stack up um, on oil, gas, whatever you guys could get now. Same with the people in Florida, definitely. But I heard you guys running out of water and fuel. And if tomorrow you guys can't evacuate, um, stay put. Be prepared, folks. Make sure you got gas, water, all that. Let's stick out the storm. But if you live in the Key West, no matter what, get out of there. If you got a boat, yeah, go out into the ocean, away from the storm. Go somewhere and safe. All right, this is the No Face Moon. Please like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, Facebook. This is the Movement Moving Moving. Until next time. Facing off.